So somehow I missed that Meta just released an amazing new AI tool that completely exceeds anything we have right now like this. And it's called Audio Box. Now this is unlike anything we have right now. This can clone your voice. You can create sound effects, which is what I'm mainly interested in for my YouTube videos. And so, so much more. Let's just have a look at this little video quickly and then we'll get into it and start trying it out for ourselves. I'm pretty sure this is going to blow my mind. Introducing Audio Box. A new foundational research model for audio generation. It can generate speech. Hello. 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 Or sound effects. To help you easily create custom audio. Using simple text or audio prompts. Go ahead, give it a try. Okay, so this looks amazing. I think we should just dive in straight away and start testing it. I'll leave the link for this in the description as well as this blog post where they explain what it is. So you can have a read through this. So as you can see, it's supposed to do text to audio generation. I mean, that's definitely a river running and then birds chirping. So to generate a voice, you have to prompt it with a style. So a young woman speaks with a high pitch and fast pace. And then you actually write what you want her to say. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. Now this is not going to be as good at generating voices as something like Eleven Labs, but that's because this can do so, so much more than just generate voices. So you can do text to audio infilling if you want to add something to your audio. So there's the original sound. Then you mask the area that you want changed. Wow. Wow, that's... That's really good. So yeah, let's try out this demo, see how good this thing really is. All right, so here we have a few options. We can clone our voice. We can generate speech with novel voices, like we saw. We can change the style of some audio with voices, combining your voice and described voices. Then we have sound effects, which I'm really interested in trying. Magic eraser for, I guess, background noise in your audio. And then we have the sound infilling, where we replace a portion of the audio. Oh, I just can't wait to do these sound effects, so I'm going to try those first. So here we go, sound effects, generate sound effects from a text description. So let's start with something that should be pretty easy, I think. Old-fashioned typewriter key presses. So that took about 20 seconds, I think. Let's give it a listen. Okay, that sounds more like a keyboard, really. Let's try this one. Interesting. That's not that great. Let's see if we change the prompt if it will actually... What if we just do typing on a typewriter? All right. Okay, well that's... To me, again, that sounds like a keyboard. Definitely. All right, let's try something else. How about an old door creaking open? Okay, okay, that was pretty good. I guess that's a door. Let's listen to this one again. I mean, that's definitely a door. Interesting. How about something a little less realistic? Laser beam charging and firing. Okay. That's not my idea of a laser beam charging and firing. I guess that's a very weird prompt though. So what I often need in my videos is a whooshing sound. How about this, a fast whooshing air sound? Maybe just a fast whooshing sound. Nope. Oh, there we go. Those are really good for sound design. That's really impressive actually. But it wasn't fast, it was more of a slow one, but it's really good. Let's try a fast whoosh for transitions. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Interesting, these are really, really good. Still not that fast whoosh I am looking for, but as you can see, the prompting really makes a difference. Because I gave it that more information about the transition, I think it actually did a way better job. How about a crackling fireplace? Oh, 
No. Also not. How about just fire instead of fireplace? Okay, gets the idea. How about an ambient forest sounds with birdsong? Yeah, definitely. That's amazing. What about if we say that it's a rainforest? Oh, rainforest is one word, I think, but... So I think we got some different uh, animals that would be in a rainforest instead of just a normal forest. I thought we would hear some rain. I guess I can just put that here. Let's see. Okay, still kind of the same. Let's try one more thing. Street sounds in a bustling cityscape. Okay, the input cannot be processed. We place limits on the content that can be generated. Or oh, this may be an error. Try again. Hmm. In a city, then. Street sounds in a city. Interesting. Busy city noises. Seems like it does want to do this one. Here we go. Yeah, sure. Sounds like a train or something. Okay, really one more this time. How about a car engine starting? That's definitely a car engine starting. And there we go. I mean, I think it's insane how it can generate this that quickly. This is going to get so good. You won't have to pay for any sound effects or background noises anymore. You can just generate them for free yourself. This is going to be insane. So next up, let's clone my voice. See how good it is at that. So you can record right into the website. And then it should copy our voice instantly, which is pretty amazing. So let's give it a go. Definitely don't expect this to be as good as Eleven Labs or something like that or Hey Gen. All right, so they give you a prompt. Let's do this. The audio generation technology used in music production has improved speech clarity and sound quality. Quality. All right, let's create a voice. Your voice is successfully registered. All right, we're going to hit done. Let's see what it makes. Hey, thanks for watching the A Quest YouTube channel. Please subscribe. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching the AI Quest YouTube channel. Please subscribe. I feel like. Hey, thanks for watching the A. I feel like it made me more American, which is what Eleven Labs did as well when I tried to clone my voice there. Definitely, like I said, not as good as Eleven Labs, but it did get some of the inflections and stuff right. I think it's very impressive. Let's try using a text description. So we'll use the same text and we will describe the voice. It says you can actually do the acoustic environment like in a large cathedral. Let's just try that actually. And let's hit generate. Hey, thanks for watching the AI Quest YouTube channel. Please subscribe. <laughs> That's actually amazing. Hey, thanks for watching the AI Quest YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Wow, that large cathedral sound sounds really good, and it's definitely an Australian man's voice. Hey, thanks for watching the AI Quest YouTube channel. Please subscribe. So good. All right, that one's really impressive. I want to try the magic eraser now. Okay, so I have a problem with my microphone uh, turning it, its gain down by itself for some reason. I haven't been able to figure out why. Anyway, we can still try this out. As you can see, I'll start it here. Quest YouTube channel, please subscribe. That would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. So there's definitely our train there. I don't know if you heard that. And here is the result that it came up with. AI Quest YouTube channel, please subscribe. That would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. So it completely removed the train sound, which is absolutely amazing. It did decrease the audio quality of my voice. I think that it's actually cloning my voice and using that instead of the original audio. So that's really cool. But yeah, it completely removed that train sound. So yeah, that was just a quick overview of some of the things you can do with Meta's new audio box. Link in the description, have a look for yourself. I'm going to start creating a sound effects library. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe or leave a like. And I'll see you next time.